This is Ian McKenzie from uh, Tech Confidence. Now, in this video, I wanted to show you how you can change a setting for an app that's on your device. Now, I'll show it to you on an app called Safari, but most apps on your device will have settings in this location I'm about to show you. So, the first thing we'll do is we'll go to Settings. Now, there's a search box right at the top of Settings. You could actually search for the app. Uh, so if you've got a lot of apps, that comes in handy to do. So you don't have to keep scrolling down to find it. But in this case, we're going to look for Safari just by scrolling down. And we're going to look at the different settings Safari has. Now, there's a lot of settings in here, and I don't want to drag on with a big long video, so I'll show you the important ones. Siri. I think Siri is a pretty good uh, thing to use for search. It'll make suggestions for you on your device and you'll see it pop up with its suggestions. If that annoys you, you can come in here and you can turn those off. Show in search, suggest shortcuts. I'll do another video on using Siri at a later date. But for now, just know it's there and you can turn it off if you like. You can change the search engine that you search on. So when you type into the address bar of Safari a search term, Mine will go to Google automatically, but you can change these in here. Um, there's suggestions in here, so when you start typing a search query, it'll come up with some automatic suggestions there. You can turn that off here. Frequently visited sites, uh, block up block pop-ups that's a pretty good one so if you're on a website that wants to throw up a window this will block it change the download folder so if you download something off the internet it'll put it in whichever folder you select here and they're the important ones make sure the fraudulent website warnings on and if you don't have Apple Pay uh, you may as well turn that off here if you find you go to a website and you and it's not showing the information you thought it was going to show, you can clear your website history and website data here. So once you do that though, you won't be able to go back in your history and see what websites you visited. Page Zoom is an interesting one. Let's say you're finding it difficult to read things on the web pages. Well, you just come in here. And you could up this to 125 or 150%. That means every time you visit a web page, it'll show the contents or the content of that page at 125% or 150% instead of 100%. So it will effectively zoom everything in, making it easier to read. So you can play around with that. And if you don't like it, uh, I mean, you can you just tap that. It's as easy as that. You just come back in here and put it back to 100, and you're pretty much done. Now, just check these settings, camera, microphone, and location, and make sure it asks you and doesn't just allow a website to jump in there and use those things. That's a handy thing to check. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. Uh, thanks for watching.